garage sale for a lot of people. You know, it's the things that they're not really putting in galleries that um, they've done during the year and whatnot, and you just want to make some money, you know? So, and every year it's building. We got almost 500 people through here last year, so. But that was pretty amazing, so. And it's just, you know, you put it all together and throw it up on the walls and, you know, rigged up lighting and all of that. It's a bit of a hodgepodge, but that's kind of, I think, why people feel comfortable. It's not as formal as the art center, you know, sort of thing. And it's um, a little bit more of kind of a rogue show, you know. A lot of them are people that we know, and then people have actually started coming to us with work and portfolios and that sort of thing. And so um, they're finding us, finally. And everything's represented. We have fiber, pottery, jewelry, glass, um, you name it. So a little bit of everything. Yeah. It is good. These were all leftover scraps and whatnot, and they're just so finely crafted. Lyle Clift was a potter in this community for years and years and years, and all of a sudden he discovered he could paint. Sean Vidmar, this is the first time she's ever shown anywhere. And she's you know, doing that kind of you know, high contrast black and white and then pulling just the strands of color. And Justin Reddick, um, abstract, he's a young guy, like 23, 24. Get him now because he'll be in major galleries. These are mine. These were actually taken in the studio, kind of with this red back wall. And I had climbing harnesses and I had these floating figures, which was really cool. So these are some leftovers from another series, but uh, they sold. They did, yeah, so that was fun, you know, help the economy. So there's a little bit of everybody. There's new people that just moved. Um, SK Cochran um, is new to Pueblo. Teresa Vito was a Denver artist. Sally Lincoln is amazing. She was doing uh, VA hospitals, painting um, the patients and that sort of thing. And uh, her, her work and her color, and it's just phenomenal. So we're really lucky. I mean, Pueblo, the art scene is growing because you can still afford a house here. Um, I don't know. It's just kind of a last frontier kind of place. I mean, that's what we love about Pueblo. You know, so, yeah.
Doug Candelaria. Yeah. Nice.